Volcano Mystery, Supervolcano Discovery in Alaska, baffles researchers. We know that Alaska is on the Pacific Plate and it's uh, very seismic. And uh, it has the Aleutian Islands, of course, which uh, is a volcanic chain. All of these islands are volcanoes. Volcano researchers found a potential supervolcano in Alaska and one expert warns it could have a huge global impact. So that means that instead of the 21 supervolcanoes we have on Earth, we now have 22 supervolcanoes on Earth. Alaska has been in the headlines recently after the great Sitkin volcano erupted last week. Last Thursday, the US Geological Survey said a red warning had been raised because of the ash indicating that significant emission of volcanic ash that went up uh, 13,000 feet into the air. Alaska Volcano Observatory said a short duration explosive eruption of one to two minutes occurred at five o'clock GMT Thursday, and it resulted in mass cloud about 15,000 feet into the air. They said since that explosion, seismicity has decreased and satellite images show the ash cloud has detached from a vent and is moving towards the east. We know that Alaska accounts for more than three quarters of all U.S. volcanoes that have erupted during the past 200 years. Researchers have been compelled by volcanic activity in the region and were stunned when they found what could be a supervolcano in Alaska's Aleutian Islands area. And this is an aerial view of some of the islands. You can see how close they are. And they're all volcanoes, of course. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. And this one, of course, is erupting. So, the cluster of volcanic islands could be a single giant volcano. This is what the geologists believe, similar to that of Yellowstone Caldera, according to the American Geophysical Union study that gave this uh, result last December. John Power, geophysicist with the U.S. Geological Survey Alaska Volcano Observatory, said the supervolcano would be so big it could have disrupted civilizations around the world. Diana Roman of the Carnegie Institute for Science in Washington, D.C. was the co-author of the study, and she said, we've been scraping under the couch cushions for data, but everything we look at lines up with a caldera in this region. Now, are we surprised to hear that? I mean, there are so many volcanoes, one so close to the other, as we can see from the satellite images, that of course it could be a caldera. Uh, most likely, they've got the same magma body, the same mantle plume. We know that the Hawaiian Islands, the biggest volcano on the Earth, Mauna Loa, and the Big Island, and uh, Kilauea, and the seamount of Loihi, even though they're three separate volcanoes, they have the same magma body with like three branches coming up, one under Mauna Loa, one under Kilauea, and one under Loihi. That's why when Kilauea erupts, Mauna Loa doesn't usually erupt because the magma just uh, finds its way out through Kilauea, and vice versa. When Mauna Loa erupts, Kilauea doesn't erupt. So this could be something, I'm sure we're going to have more news on this because this, this is just new. They came out with this December 2020. Diana Roman of the Institute said that uh, uh, everything we look at looks like it's lining up, that there is a supervolcano caldera in this region. Roman added that if the supervolcano hypothesis is confirmed, it could explain the frequent explosive activity seen at Mount Cleveland. Mount Cleveland, Cleveland volcano is arguably the most active volcano in North America for at least the last 20 years. It has produced ash clouds as high as 15,000, 30,000 feet above sea level. And Michael Poland of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, who was not involved in the study, offered his analysis on the Alaskan supervolcano 
hypothesis, he said it could potentially have a huge global impact. Poland said these very large calderas have very large impacts globally. He said this potential identification helps us understand what we might expect and why the Cleveland volcano is so active and understand the hazards of this. The study was published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters in this past March, and it shed new light over what could happen when such a super volcano erupts, especially its impacts on the climate. So um, the researchers tested different volcanic forcing scenarios lasting several years and with a peak in volcanic emissions. The eruptions of a super volcano that can have the power, of course, to temporarily change the wind regimes in the tropical stratosphere, also changing climate on a global scale. The experts studied the eruption of Los Chojocos, one of the most recent super eruptions happened 75 years ago in Guatemala, and the researchers simulated the impact of that Los Chojocos-like eruption on the climate using model climate models. They considered the effect of such huge amounts of gas and ash emissions to the atmosphere. Christine Kruger, author of the study, said, an eruption at this dimension would supply amounts of aerosols and chemistry components to the atmosphere. According to our model simulations, the eruption could cause a 10-year disruption of the quasi-biennial oscillation wind. The change of this QBO, quasi-biennial oscillation wind, would have started four months post-eruption with abnormal easterly winds lasting for five years followed by westerly winds before it returned to normal, but with a slightly prolonged periodicity. And this is on Express UK by Charlie Bradley. So this is something new concerning Alaska. And I'm sure we're going to get more information on this, um, that it could be a supervolcano under Cleveland and all those over there. Uh, please leave your comments and thank you for your support.